Designers risk having to redo their work every day when they're handed the client brief and unknowingly take off towards the danger zone. Well, not on my watch. If we want to avoid wasting time on excessive and ineffective content that gets shot down on day one, then you need to stop and adopt the Top Gun rules of engagement to make sure that your learning objectives are right on target. Here's how. Just as the military call on Maverick to prevent a catastrophe, when creating learning content, every client brief starts with a problem we have to solve. But once learning is found to be the solution, our risk to rework and wasted time skyrockets because there's a whole range of angles we can take to get our cadets from A to B. Now, every mission requires a set of skills to complete. If we tell our cadets that in order to complete this mission, they must first understand how to fly a fighter jet, what does that actually mean? Knowing how the plane works, the procedure to take off and land, how to dogfight and engage hostiles. Giving passive orders like this will mean different things to different people at different skill levels and will leave learners circling around the target guessing what they need to do to get the job done when they should be attacking the problem head on in the same way. If we use active verbs like list, compare, describe, present, and verify, however, we start talking the same language and end up setting clear expectations for each action learners need to take. But these actions alone won't get learners from A to B. Doing that requires confidence. And when actions come in various levels of difficulty under different conditions, how do cadets know when they're good enough? Having them list the procedure for takeoff and landing doesn't mean they can just jump into a plane and do it. In the same way, we don't just drop them into battle if they don't first know how to fly, evade, and fire back. And that's even if they have to battle at all. This leads to one of the biggest mistakes causing designers heaps of wasted time from rework and excess content. What actions, if left untested, will cause your cadets to crash and burn before they can even finish their mission. Capturing each required action you need to assess in order of difficulty reveals the high value learning targets to focus on. Because if you can't build their confidence by testing it, there's no point in teaching it. And you've just found your learning objectives and the point where you can stop making content. That's if you can convince your client, of course, which makes it even more annoying when they still shoot down your work because they don't believe you're including enough. Which is why you want to watch this video next to ensure you're able to guide your client conversation in the right direction. I'll see you there.